Let's use the search menu to cut a key for a 2010 Ford F-150. I'll select vehicle keys, vehicle make, and I'll start typing Ford. Notice a drop down box. I'm going to select Ford USA. Ford USA trucks is for heavy trucks. Then I start typing the model F. And again, notice the drop down box. I'm going to select the F. 150. Model year 2009 through 2010. On this screen you see the code series associated with this vehicle. I'm going to tap the green card. The left side of the screen shows all the technical details relating to the selected cutting card. For example, card number, SN, code series, depth measurements, spacing measurements, cutting angle, and blank dimension are also shown here. I'm going to cut this key by code, so I'll tap code, tap the code box, and I'm going to enter 84X. Then I'm going to tap the magnifying glass. These are the direct cuts that are associated with the indirect code 84X. Tap OK. The next screen displays the cut depths associated with that indirect code and also gives you a picture of what the cut key will look like. To cut the key, tap Cut. It will show you the clamp to use, the clamp side, the cutter, the stop position. Notice the Use Any Clamp box is checked. So it tells me I can use all four of the clamp sides. If I uncheck that box, it will tell me to use clamp side A. Since this is a symmetrical key, I'm going to use clamp side C. Since this key is cut on two sides, I'm going to grip the key using the milling groove. So I'm going to rotate the jaw to clamp C. I'm going to load the key to find that ridge so that it's on the milling groove and tighten it slightly so I can slide it back. Notice it also says use stop four. This is the stop four tool. I'm going to load that in the back of the jaw. Slide the key all the way up. And you can also use the shoulder gauge to make sure that you've got the key straight. Once the key is properly gauged and clamp, notice it calls for the 12L cutter. So we need to load the 12L cutter into the cutting spindle. Tighten in place with the T-wrench. Lower the shield. Tap Start to begin the key cutting process. Notice the cutter will come in and touch off on the edge of the key to determine the starting point. After side one is cut, you're going to flip the key to side two. So load the key in the same process. Again, I'm using the stop four tool. Close the shield, press start and it cuts side two.
Okay, previously we cut that key by code. Other options on the right hand side are cuts. If you do not know the indirect code, but you know the direct cuts, you can tap cuts and a box will open up giving you the opportunity to enter the cuts. Another option is decoding. It will take you to the screen to show you how to load the key. Once you've loaded the key, you press start, lower the mobile tracer, and it will decode the key. Manual corrections. If the key is worn and you want to make manual adjustments, you can do that at this screen. Partial cuts. If a customer presents you with a broken key, for example, you, it's an eight cut key and you only know the first five or six cuts. You can enter those cuts here, tap search, and it will show you possible indirect codes that are used to cut that key. If I tap cutting tree, it will give me a progressive list to try to minimize the number of keys that you have to cut to find a working key. Card options. Here you can adjust the cut type. Notice the drop down box for cut type. This is only available as laser. The cutter, you can only use the 12L cutter. And the clamp is the L1VA. If there are other options, you could make selections there. Info card. Again, just shows you the cutter, the clamp, the clamp side, and the stop position to use. Queue of job. If I were cutting a key and I entered all the information that I wanted to cut, but I wanted to cut the key at a later point, I would just tap this button here and it would place it into the job queue. When I'm ready to select the cut, I would tap Q of job and the job would be here. I would select it and press start. Measurements just gives you the information that's here on the screen, your actual space measurements and depth measurements.